Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be doing a little PA plow day prep on the uh, 66102. This is the first year they've had it since COVID happened, so we're going this year. We'll be taking the, the 66, the 102, and probably the, or the orange and the white 68 outside. But first, we're going to talk about this. This is a Brindley spring assist for your rear lift, your snow plow, all that. I'm, I'll show you how to put it on and all that, and we'll get this ready to go for plow day. I wish I had more room in the shop, but it's raining outside. The 102s, 122s in here working on a dump, dumpster fire. So we'll just get right to it and... See what we can make of this. Hope you stick around. All right, so I already got the one one panel off here. That's loose, and I already had the bolts out of this one, so we'll pop that one out. There. It's only held in by four bolts, so that's no big deal there. So try to do this here. I'll look around that corner. Part of that spring bracket bolts right here, the little angle iron piece. It's right here. Then the spring feeds feeds up under here and onto your main bar. But first we gotta loosen that bar up to be able to get the uh, the doohickey in there. I already got that. Oh, I thought I had that loose. Squish not please. Let's get that turn more. I already had it cracked loose and we'll just get that off of there for the sleeve edge. Come out of there. Bushing and all. So now what we'll do is we'll feed this piece of bracketry. Just, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. This piece of bracketry up the shaft here. Some Come on, duck. Quit throwing panels around. Up up through there up through there to about right where that belt that bump out is in the casting there let's see if I can do this let's see if I can do this one handed oh not one-handed, you guys are on the tripod, what am I don't worry about? I'll just back these nuts off here a little, a little bit. Now I want this bent circle facing back towards, facing back towards us like this. So that should back off that nut just a little more in that one. Separate the, oh, took, don't want to take that nut completely off. That defeats the point then of putting it on there. Just ease it up. Now that piece of bracketry up in there, we can take our spring then. Come up through here. Oh boy, I hope I can do this one. Since our spring's got that hook on the end of it. Come on, Shane. Do this. And hook our spring on the end of that bracketry. I'll bring his back as soon as I get that done. Okay, with everything put in, we'll see what we got here. If we need to adjust anything, or it's gonna be good. 
it's a good push forward. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have to adjust anything. I'll take it. So, let's run a tripod here. Dang it. So, we'll get everything buttoned back up here in the back end and go with the after product after that. Just realized something. As much as I'd like to put this piece back on here on the bottom side, that spring being there now, I won't go back in there and I'd hate. I'd hate to cut that piece, so I'll just leave it out. Now I'll put the old back cover plate in here. Just the four bolts. Maybe some luck, I won't have to bend that either. Come on, get started in there. I mean, they make like this big deal to put them on. They're really not that bad. Once you get the hang of them. As long as you follow your instru follow instructions or Hopefully that was some help to somebody. A little, I guess it was a how-to. You wanna call it that? I might have to adjust a comply day, but that is what it is. It's not that much, it's only a 9 16th inch nut. I get these tightened back in. That takes care of that. The spring assist is on the 102 now. Well, PA Plow Day is April 15th and 16th, I do believe. Which I will, well, I will be there for that. And you can always check their Facebook page at PA Plow Day Social Group on Facebook.